guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing and productive week. And if you don't know, hello, I'm Gata. So in this video, I'll be telling you how to create a productive study space. So now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. First step is invest in a good desk or table. I strictly recommend you to invest in desk because you should not study on your bed or sofa. The reason behind this is you like watch movies on your bed, you sleep on your bed and you like do stuff which is related to relaxing ourselves so our brain knows that that we relax, relax on our bed so I recommend you to get the desk and this is the warning for like the recommendation and the focus when you study on your desk will be much more than studying on the bed so the size of the table or desk doesn't matter at all because I have this small table and the plus point of this is when you have this small table and you are a messy person when your table is messy and you want to study on it you don't have a space for studying on it so you like clean it so it's kind of self-explanatory so that's the plus point as well so now let's move on to the second step let's go second step is lighting as I showed you before, I have the big window, so I have set up my table near the window and I definitely recommend you to like set your table or desk near a window because the natural light is much more effective than the artificial lighting and if you like to study night or evening, you can have a study lamp or just like lamp on your Mm, table or at least the you should set up your table near the spot of the light in your bed but I think natural light is much greater than artificial lighting so now let's move on to the third step let's go third step is get everything you need when I start studying and I realize that I forgot a pen or a razor, then I get up and get that thing. Again, after some minutes, I realize that I'm thirsty, so I get up and get some water. So we are not focused on our studying. So I think this is the most important step is getting everything you need. And I am a paperless student in school, so I have my laptop as well on my table. Now let's move on to the fourth step. Let's go. Fourth step is... Step is have a to-do list or planner on your desk because you can use your bullet journal or planner or to-do list or at least a whiteboard because when you have something and you know what you are actually going to do in that particular study session or at least you know what to get while you are <coughs> really working there so it's the plus point so you should have something that you will be like doing kind of layout of that study session so have something like to-do list, planner, whatever you want so yeah, now let's move the last step, the fifth step. So yeah, let's go. Fifth step is turn off your phone or at least on airplane mode. So you won't get any calls or notifications. So you'll be like, oh, I got a notification. You'll be like grabbing your phone and doing like that. So you should do that and turn off like the tv if there is tv near your study space so you will be not distracted as well so these were five tips now thank you so much for watching this video and i hope this video was helpful to you and 
Now, the question of the day is which do you prefer? Studying in your home or studying outdoor? So tell me by like following me and telling me it on my Instagram. The link of my Instagram will be in the description. And if you set your studies first, please let me know by DMing me on the Instagram. So because our comments are turned off by rule of YouTube, we will do it another way. So thank you so much for watching. See you in next Monday. Bye bye. Have a nice day.